So the amazing atheist is at it again. His downward spiral continues. Now he is in fully blown victim mode. Just look at this idiot. This branded name identity. So I went into YouTube and like I'm gonna go change it back to the amazing atheist just until I get this other stuff sorted. So I type in the amazing atheist as my channel name and I get a response back from YouTube. Uh, this name does not meet with our guidelines. Well, I don't think it's uh, the or amazing that triggered it. I think it's probably the word atheist. So that pretty much confirmed 100% that YouTube is in fact uh, discriminating against the word atheist. Ah, oh, so stupid. Here, look, I I'm going to change my name now to, um, to Atheist Wiener Dog to prove that it does not discriminate against atheist. God, what an idiot. Now this is my secondary channel. It's full of garbage let's play videos if you want if you're into those. Either way, now you're into the amazing atheist wiener dog apparently. <laughs> what how stupid though. Yeah, okay, so he can't change his name back. Because frivolously changing your name is definitely not something you're supposed to do. And then instead of go making a support ticket, he whines to the community and, and pretends to be a victim. Oh my god, what is he, a feminist now? Fucking retarded. Well, that means that um, you're hate speech. And YouTube doesn't want you. That's remarkable to me. I mean, look at my channel views versus my uh, revenue for the past 28 days. You notice those two lines that seem to be kind of in tandem? And then at the very end, one line just kind of crashes into oblivion? Well, that line is my revenue. And every channel I know of, every channel I know of is experiencing the same thing. Now, the channels I know of tend to be more controversial channels. I can't speak for the hydraulic press channels and the fucking people who, I don't know, just, I'm gonna butter a piece of toast and slam it in my fucking face or so. I, I don't, I can't speak for those channels. I don't know. They're probably fine. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't heard of this. There was a huge boycott about people pulling their ads from AdSense. Which would impact everyone, everyone making ads. Might there be a, some kind of preferential treatment against atheists? I don't think so. Why would they need to do that when they already have this, this feature that does that? The demonetization feature. And you, you can tell that that's not happening because he would have complained about that if, if he actually had evidence that he was getting demonetized. So really he's just being an idiot. Sometimes the market's good, sometimes the market's bad. When people pull their ads, it's gonna be bad for all people who, who advertise with ads. Uh, what should I say, AIDS? Who, who even watches ads? Who, who doesn't have ad block anymore? <sighs> so anyways, here's me changing my name again to now the amazing atheist. Oh boy, let's see if that works. No. It's got maybe maybe PewDiePie will work. I, I need I just need more exposure. Maybe I'll be PewDiePie now. Yes, there's no way this could. The most inoffensive name of all. Yes, this will work. No, ah, oh, it's almost as if you couldn't just pick the name of of a high level YouTuber and name yourself after them. Ah, oh, outrageous. There, yeah, Markiplier doesn't work either. Look at this amazing atheist. YouTube's even protecting your name. Why, why are you gonna be a bitch about it? Ah. Anyways, wouldn't it be great if, if I were an advertiser right now? I, I bet I could get so many cheap ads right now on, on AdSense. Ah, if only Poor Mouse was out already and I could advertise the fuck out of it. <laughs> oh, maybe this boycott will last a little longer and then I'll be able to do it. So anyways, I was going to... I had a, a theory about The Amazing Atheist and Candid, I thought maybe, maybe the Amazing Atheist knows that he's wrong about Candid, and maybe he actually did something really sneaky. Maybe he, he took a deal with them, where he couldn't say anything bad about them. But then, 
he made another deal with them where he would defend them against harmful opinions. And then he made that video so bad that it was implicitly a, an advert for harm, harmful opinions and against candid. It's just to prove that he, he agrees with free speech and not with candid. Maybe, maybe that is the case, but maybe not, because what we've seen today says he's completely retarded and probably just a, a clown who doesn't understand anything. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I probably should change my, my secondary channel name back at some point. Ha ha ha.